everybody. Welcome to my suburban oasis. Today I'm going to take you for a stroll through the garden. It's one of those times of years where, times of the year where I feel like things don't look that pretty. And today it started to snow, which makes me so happy because it's between the fall color time and the time when the white snow blankets the ground that there's a lot harder time finding beauty, but there's always beauty in the natural world. So we're gonna walk around the yard today and look at some of that and see how the snow is starting to blanket and make things more beautiful. The seed heads on the sedum are delicate with the small flakes of snow. Some of the berries remain on this coral berry bush. Some are beginning to fade. Some have been eaten by birds. It is one of the few colors that is left in the yard at this time. The echinacea seed heads have been eaten by the birds. Some are still left, but I'm sure that they'll come back to get some more. Small bits of color remain on this barberry bush. protected by the fence. The bright colors still remain. The snow lands fresh atop the pool cover. I love it when it becomes covered in white. The periwinkle is evergreen, the vinca. helps to retain some of the life during the cold winter months. All of the beds are nestled up, covered in the wonderful mulch of leaves from the fall. The rhododendrons are green. I did spray them with some wilt sap just before the winter started. But you can see the leaves are starting to curl from the cold. And if we get another warm day, I'll come back out and we'll put some more wilt stab on them. Put out some fresh cranberries and the hickory stump for our wildlife friends and they've begun, begun to eat them. My topiaries look lovely 
during the evening, especially at night, when the two tall topiaries come alive with the small fairy lights that I installed on them, which are solar. And I'll add that on to the end of this video so you can see some of our Christmas lights at night. So happy with the boxwoods that I added back here to be able to have a little greenery and interest and structure in the garden during the winter. One of the big surprises for me was this azalea. The leaves have remained for so long. They must fall soon, but they're kind of a burgundy purple color here and gorgeous to look at. There's some Japanese pieris over here, which is also evergreen. I'll be interested to see how tall this grows because it's not clear based on the tags I received. It's either going to be a couple feet tall or perhaps 12 feet tall. <laughs> But I think no matter what, the evergreen will bring a nice sense of structure and life to the garden in the winter. And I'm really looking forward to all the barberries that I planted. You can see they have these small red berries, which many people don't know are actually edible. I hear they're bitter. I have not tried them myself. But I think they're beautiful and I'm looking forward to having bigger bushes so they produce even more berries next year and uh, being able to use them perhaps in decorations or even if I leave them for the birds to get for food or just to see as decoration out in the landscape. Even the hookahs are beginning to fade with the light dusting of snow. The color remains but they wilt somewhat down to the ground. The arborvitas are a lovely sight this time of year. And there's a nice grouping of more sedums with their seed heads and when the snow falls clumps of snow will remain atop the seed heads looking like fluffy billowing clouds and of course the red twig dogwood looks very nice against the white snow in the fall and the uh, winter. It livens things up. This holly, which was new this year, it doesn't have any berries this year, but it promises to have berries next year with both a male and a female plant combined in the same pot and planted down into the ground. It ensures pollination so that the berries are there. So we'll see how that does next year. But certainly this year, it lends a beautiful aspect of green against the fence. The color of these gold map cypress, the plants which I receive for free through my neighborhood app, also tend to brighten the landscape this time of year.
the snowflakes come down. The green remains for some of the plants, including these digitalis. I have some pretty blue lights that are also solar and these evergreens in this bed which twinkle and I will show you those as well at the end of this video. The forsythia is covered in buds waiting for the spring to open the yellow and gold flowers for us. The fluffy pampas grass remains. Its mane is fluffy as a lion up against the house here. And the wonderful Boxwood Row. Thanks everyone for joining me on a tour today. I hope you and your family are healthy and safe and having a wonderful holiday season. Stay tuned for the lights. <laughs>